Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm Natasha and I'm currently at the Metro Toronto Convention Center attending the auto show. Today is opening day uh, for media and I'm super excited to see all the new showcased uh, new cars and the, the awards that have been given out to uh, the new cars and stuff. So I'm super excited. I haven't been to the auto show in the last 20 years times it seems like to see all of the product that's here in Canada. There are 25 Canadian premieres going on at the show, two world premieres, and some of the very best in the world in terms of the collection of exotics and hypercars, the Cobble Beach collectible cars that are on display, something for everyone and something for everyone to drool over. And look at the, the great collection of journalists. Thank you all for coming out today. Speaking of hyper the challenge challenges of this vehicle. We will have one car to test drive it around. First test not <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Richard Hammond. That's what makes it an exciting car. And as I say, the key thing that these guys are doing, they're not trying to make an electric car exciting. They're making an exciting car that is electric. And yeah. that's the mission. Yeah. You want to show it, it doesn't have one single number. Actually, the, the bottom of the car acts as, as a reverse wing, and the top of the car acts like an airplane wing. So you actually have, let's say, two tons uh, pulling the car up and two tons pulling the car down. So it's like four tons trying to rip the car too. Uh, and that's, that's comforting. <laughs> Here are the Acura Integra Type S, the Honda Accord, the Toyota Prius. I'll now invite Peter Sidorin with KPMG on stage to present the envelope, please. Peter. The winner of the 2024 Canadian Car of the Year is the Toyota Prius. Uh, that usually take about an hour to get through, but I, I promise to be short. But I will say this is an incredibly emotional day for me because about 25 years ago, I joined Toyota Canada. And my first job was to crisscross the country and introduce people to the world's first mass-produced gasoline electric automobile. And his name was Prius, and Prius meant to come before. It was designed as a car that imagined what the people of the early part of the next century would be driving. And here we are, 25 years later, and we have Car of the Year. So I just want to say thank you to everybody at AJAC. I view this award as a recognition of the importance of having a long-term vision. We're going to take a beat today, and we're going to celebrate. But I can tell you we're working on the cars for the next 25 years, and we're looking forward to showing them to you. So thank you so very much. Here are the Genesis Electrified G80, the Hyundai Ionic 6, to present the envelope, please. And the winner of the 2024 Canadian Electric Car of the Year is the Genesis Electrified G80. The electric technology, and it's fantastic to see a brand like Genesis, only seven years old in the making, Looking back three years ago, no electric vehicles, and now today we've got three electric vehicles in our lineup. I wanted to take this opportunity to thank the jurors of the AJAC committee for your confidence in the Genesis brand. We are focused on delivering exceptional experiences for all our guests, and we look forward to keep the future very exciting for everyone. Yeah, 
My name is John Capella. I'm the President and CEO of Porsche Cars Canada. It is my pleasure to welcome you today to our exhibit. Last year, Porsche celebrated 70, our 75th anniversary and 60 years of the 911. And in Canada, we surpassed 10,000 new vehicle sales for the very first time. We start this year with an exciting display here at the Canadian International Auto Show that celebrates our brand's future, including a host of exciting premieres. The first of which you likely notice at the entrance, the Vision GT concept. The Porsche Vision Gran Turismo concept is having its motor show debut here in Toronto. This spectacular concept was the fruit of a collaboration between Porsche and Sony. The Gran Turismo video game series has featured Porsche since 2017. The Porsche Vision Gran Turismo first concept study created specifically for the use of a video game. For more than 75 years, Porsche has created some of the most recognized and the Taycan Turbo S. designers have sharpened the design of the Taycan with impactful modifications. The car looks more dynamic and more performance focused from the side. The new matrix LED headlights are standard with optional high resolution HD matrix headlights. 
a three-dimensional glass look Porsche logo in the rear light strip with an optional illuminated version is also available for the first time, featuring a welcome and meeting animation. The new Tycon is also... Yeah, I've seen that in... Uh, Hello everyone, you guys doing good? Yeah? Yes. Excited? Good. So I'm Matt Gerges, I'm the Managing Director for Volvo Car Canada, and I'm thrilled to be here with you guys today to share a new era for safety as we unveil for the first time to the Canadian public the fully electric Volvo EX90. And uh, so then after the Mistral, there's going to be no more W60. Can you move to the right Good morning. So let me start by saying welcome to the Infinity booth and thank you for taking the time to be with here this, be with us here this morning. We are very proud to be here at the Canadian International Auto Show today. We have two exciting concepts that have never been on stage together. Now last year, we announced a strong brand refresh and paved the way to a product renaissance which will see the light in the coming years. Underpinning Infinity's comprehensive refresh is an enhancing customer connection and a delivery of thoughtful hospitality across all touch points. And central to these updates are a new global retail architecture design, an evolved logo, and a new multi-sensory experience. Our new look and feel draws inspiration from the brand's heritage of Japanese design philosophies, allowing us to provide a truly immersive experience for our customers. In Canada, our first retailer will be built on this new architecture and will be opening later this spring. Now since 1989, our Infinity logo has drawn inspiration from the infinite road to the horizon, reflecting the forward-facing direction of a brand born to challenge conventions. The fourth iteration of the Infinity logo places even greater focus on the infinite road. But experiences are always more memorable and stimulating when more than one... Hello everyone, it's a pleasure to be here today. And since the birth of Infinity in 1989, we have embraced artful design as a key differentiator. And from the minimalist Q45 sedan to the pioneering FX Coupe, Infinity has dared to push boundaries, challenge conventions, and deliver products that simply stir emotions. 
Both our study QX monograph and the Sleep Vision QE concepts have been crafted under evolved design language, which we call artistry in motion. For us, Infinity Vehicles have always been an evocative art pieces on wheels, crafted to deliver spirited and graceful movement. We can trace the origins of this approach back to the dawn of the brand itself. In 1989, artful expression paired with minimalism and simplicity with technology and high performance uh, which was at the very beginning as we entered our new dawn last year we evolved our design expression adding element of The QX monograph features a powerful profile and minimalist exterior infused with evocative details. The exterior proportions, including the upright rear pillar and the wraparound glass house, hint at a spacious interior that the production QX80 will form the EV era. sculpted a pure, ultra-sleek profile that even when static, delivers a sense of speed and dynamism. Minimalism paired with muscular proportions to hint at the engaging electric performance the production car will offer. Everything is anchored around one single pure gesture that flows from the infinity emblem at the front and accelerates towards the rear. I introduced the philosophy of show earlier, and on the Vision QE concept, we took inspiration from a powerful bird of prey with its wings tucked back in flight to create a sense of powerful grace. Along the body side, a gentle pressing combines with a sensual surface. <laughs> exciting start to the day. Having recently won the Autotrader.ca award for the best compact SUV for G70 and the electrified G70 was already an honor. And to add to this accolade, our double win this morning with the Ajax car of the year for electric vehicle, the electrified G80 and the Ajax electric utility vehicle of the year, the electrified GV70. What a fantastic award. We're very, very proud of that. Thank you to the Ajax and its esteemed jurors for your vote of confidence in the Genesis brand. And with that, we have more exciting news to share regarding the Genesis brand with you today. Genesis has experienced tremendous growth over the past several years. From its launch, electric model, then the GV70, an exceptional sporty SUV available both in gasoline and EV powertrains, and the GV80, our very first SUV that started it all. And now, a new model will join this award-winning lineup to continue building on its strong foundation. 
you see it. It creates a magnetic pull. It provokes an emotional response. Inspired by the concept, and now reborn as a production vehicle, the GV80 Coupe is the next model in the Genesis lineup that confirms the brand's commitment to create bold design with emotional resonance. The first ever GV80 Coupe elevates the brand's performance and dynamic attributes and lays the foundation for more to come. And to tell you more about it, it's my honor to introduce to you, all the way from the Genesis Design Center in California, our Senior Chief Designer, John Christeski. Welcome, John. Thank you, Eric. Good morning, everyone. Now, if you'll indulge me for a moment, think back to when you were a child. It's definitely further back for some of us than others. But how many of us had those car posters on your walls? We stared at those things for so long, I bet if you close your eyes now, that you could still remember them. At Genesis, we endeavor to tap into that essence of those deep emotional connections. Through our design and production concept vehicles, we aim to transcend the constraints of our imagination to create distinctive designs that are both immediately recognizable and yet timeless. When we unveiled the GV80 Coupe concept last year at an exclusive event at our Genesis house in New York, it was outfitted in eye-catching magma orange paint, and the four-passenger coupe concept introduced a new chapter for the Genesis story. It marked a bold statement of aspiration and intent, elevating and emphasizing the duality of the brand by showcasing the elegance to, for the very first time in Canada, the 2025 Genesis GV80 Coupe. What a beauty, look at that. So, same with the iconic two-line signature, well, let's start with the, the coupe's front fascia first. It presents a double G-matrix pattern crest grille, and it's a design that continues throughout the vehicle. And same with the iconic two-line signature headlamps with multi-lens array technology. Its functional slots were incorporated to the front bumper's design in order to optimize cooling for a sports car. Genesis rear-wheel drive platform provides the basis for the GV80 Coupe's graceful proportions that are emphasized by the parabolic line gesture through the sides. And is complemented by the muscular fenders that contrast with the vehicle's elegant silhouette and exclusive 22-inch wheels, which also incorporate our two-line signature. This particular model is adorned in Capri Blue with an ultramarine interior. And the view from the rear is... Strategic Planning, David Sherrard. Good morning, everyone. It's a pleasure to be here at the Canadian International Auto Show. Thank you all very much for joining us. I'm proud to stand on this stage to represent Kia, and this year is extra special. 2024 will mark our 25th year in Canada, and wow, have we come a long way. I want to celebrate this milestone by reflecting on what we've achieved and what is still to come. We closed out 2023 on a high note, with over 84,768 units sold, up 7% over our last record set in 2021. And we're still on a roll, having closed January with 6,523 units sold, makes it our best January ever. Parallel to this success is the significant progress Kia is making with Plan S. Four years ago, we introduced this strategy, outlining our commitment to introduce seven all-new electric Kia Carnival and all-new Carnival Hybrid. All right. 
right, well, let's explore this redesigned carnival. The exterior enhancements are inspired by our Opposites United design philosophy pardon me, of Bold for Nature, underpinned by three components, individual, outgoing, and practical. The 2025 Carnival emphasizes a high-tech image with our sophisticated star map daytime running lights and iconic amber hue using wide vertical lamps that resemble our recently launched EV9 and redesigned Sorrento. These are all neatly housed within a